Hey, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you my glam everyday makeup tutorial. Um, I kind of go back and forth between my longer version, which usually takes me about 30 minutes, and my shorter version of makeup, which takes about 10. Um, but anyways, so leave me a comment down below if there's anything else you want to see or anything you have questions about, and I will link all the products I use in the description. And this is my makeup bag. I absolutely am, am obsessed with this bag. It is from Victoria's Secret, and I do my makeup in the car pretty much every day of my life. So this is perfect, and it is one huge clear bag, and it holds, whoop, it holds three separate ones. So it has one big one, and then it has two that are this size. And this fits absolutely everything I could possibly need in it, and I carry it in the car every single day. And what's cool is with the smaller bags, if you ever needed to like carry a little one with you somewhere, um, you can just take one of these out and take it with you. I have noticed, starting with eyeshadow first, um, does help a lot. Not have to worry about all the dark getting under your eyes. So we are gonna start, just go ahead and start with that. So I use white. So this is the chocolate bar, Too Faced chocolate bar. Just the regular one, not milk chocolate, not dark chocolate. So I start with white chocolate on my lid. And that just gives it a really pretty even canvas to start with. And don't come at me for this. I use one brush for everything, pretty much. I know it could look better if I did not, but again, like I said, I do my makeup in the car every day. So ain't nobody got time to be looking through brushes. And I use my rear view mirror a lot um, to do my makeup. I use this one too sometimes, but I use this one a lot because I can see it further away and I don't know, that's just what I do. So I'm gonna go in today with, let's go in with a little bit of cherry cordial. So it's a little bit of a reddish, purplish color. So I like to dab it right there. So I'm just going to repeat it on both sides as evenly as possible. And then I'm going to take my middle color, which I really like, um, creme brulee. It's a gold, kind of gold shimmery color. So I'm going to put that in the middle. And again, just kind of dabbing basically a dot of it right in the middle. Sometimes I'll start with the middle color too, but to me it doesn't make a big difference. Always start with less because you can always add more. It's harder to take it off. All right, so then let's go in with the other one. Now, this is one of my absolute favorites. It's called Marzipan and it is a lighter shimmery color. Almost like a nude shimmery color. So I'm gonna do that on the inside corner. And then I take it like this and get some of that excess off. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back in with the cherry cordial, just a little bit. And start blending it very lightly. Kind of going in that crease right there. Just doing little small circles. Same thing on the other side. Again, very, very lightly. I'm just doing little bitty circles again. This lighting is not the best, but it'll have to do for now. Then I take the champagne truffle, which is the bottom right corner of this. It's a very, very light shimmery color and I just put it right up here under on my brow bone. 
so I have hooded eyelids and if you look it up you can see what type of eyelids you have but that means they don't show a lot so I actually put eyeshadow technically on my whole entire eyelid all the way up to my eyebrow because when my eyes are open not right the second but when they're open you can't see a lot of my eyeshadow so if I don't put anything up here it's gonna look like I'm not wearing any Sometimes I will take that um, champagne truffle and also put it in the corners if I feel like, you know, being a little exciting that day. All right, I'm gonna leave it alone for now. We might come back to that later. So eyeshadow first. I take this brush and these brushes are from Sephora and it's the Sephora collection and this is the bronzer brush. So it's my bigger brush. Take it, dust it off. So one of my new favorites is um, a SPF 50 sunscreen and it's by VI Derm Beauty. And I, it's technically not a moisturizer. I have combination skin, so I actually find that this works better for me than most moisturizers do. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation in 2N beige. And then this is Max Studio Fix Fluid. This also has sunscreen in it, so you're extra protected. And this is C5. So I usually use about two, no, about three pumps of the lighter color, which is the Laura Mercier. And then I use one whole pump, okay, it didn't come out all the way. One whole pump of the MAC one, because it's so dark. I do notice the MAC is a little bit more liquidy than the other one, but again, mixing them together works great. So I put it on my hand. This probably is not the best way to do this, but I just do like that, mix it all together. This brush is from Ulta, and it is a buffing foundation brush, number 13. Uh, this is how I do it. Don't come at me for my technique. So I then go in and buff all of this out and blend it as well as possible. I blend down on my neck slightly and then back toward behind my ears. You don't want it to look like you're wearing a mask, <laughs> just foundation. I then take that lighter color again and dab it underneath my eyes and in my T-zone just to add a little bit of brightness. Ridiculous. Anyways. Alright. So here we grab a napkin. Clean napkin. Do not forget to wipe this off. I'm only saying that because it's happened to me. One time I went to get my nails done and I go in there and put my hand up and it looks like this. So that is not a look, okay? So what I will do is I will wipe it as good as I can and then baby wipes work great for this. Of course, makeup wipes too. So I'll wipe it off like this and then when I get where I can do that, I'll do that. But I mainly do this so I do not get it on my clothes. Or in my hair. So I take this, wipe my lips, and then sometimes if I got some foundation on my eyebrows, they are microbladed, so I can't be having that covered up. So I'll take that and wipe off at least some of the foundation so it's not completely covered. So foundation's done, eyeshadow's done. Let's move on to blush. Sometimes I will do blush first, sometimes I'll do bronzer first to me. It doesn't really make a difference. So today I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills and this has the colors Spoiled, Coastline, Breeze, and Terrace in it. 
So Terrace was my favorite. It was a darker, cooler color. Um, but I have an out of it. So I actually mix Breeze and Coastline, which is a more orangey and a more pink or like a darker pink. So I literally do this. Have it. So I just put a little bit one, a little bit in the other. And then I start going in here. I start at the outsides. Come in here and make little circles. And then I'm sure this is very, very wrong. Technically, if any makeup artists see this, don't come at me. I'm not a makeup artist. I am a hairstylist. And contrary to popular belief, those things don't always go together. <laughs> I have just started doing my makeup decent in the last year, but I've had a few people ask for how I do it, so I'm just going to show you. So again, you keep it right up here, go into about right there, and just like eyeshadow, blending is the most important part anyway, so once you get all this on, even if it looks a little crazy, in the end we're going to blend that all out. Okay, and then I take just a little bit. I don't put any more on. I just take a little bit right on the edge of my nose. Just to give it a little bit of color. Kind of look like Cindy Lou over here. Alright. So then, while that is sitting, I take my bronzer. And grab my other Sephora brush. And this is the blush brush in the Sephora collection. And I love, absolutely, I've used this for so many years. This is Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil, if you can read that. Okay. I'm almost out of it, and I bought a new one, but I'm not opening it yet because I refuse to believe that it is empty. So I'm going to take this and put it right, pretty much almost on the blush, but like right underneath it, slightly. And again, go all the way in there, about to where you went with the blush. Repeat on this side. Okay, do that first. And then some days I will take a smaller brush and contour my nose. I don't really care about contouring my nose that much. So sometimes I'll take this one and just very lightly do that right on the, the edges right there. See, works pretty well, honestly, if you don't have time to get really detailed with it. So then I will take this and lightly go around my hairline up here. So ultimately, you're wanting to make a three on the side of your face. So here, 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 okay? So I will go in here. Now this, you have to do a lot of blending because you don't want it to look like your face just stops right there at your neck. But this does help give you a little bit of a jawline because sometimes with foundation, it'll kind of take that away. So I do that on both sides. Gives you that little bit of shadow there. And then I take it there and just kind of blend it down into that, like the three shape that I was talking about earlier. Okay, so now we got our threes, the nose. So now I'm gonna put that away. And I'm gonna take this and just kind of blend it down slightly. Just enough to where it's not a straight line. My setting powder, my Laura Mercier setting powder and translucent is the color. <clears throat> so I will use a beauty blender to do this, but of course I don't have water in my car to do that with. So I'm gonna take it and dab it underneath here. Also using the buffing brush just 
just patting it under my eyes where it tends to crease the most. Where people, you know, sometimes I will, if I'm really wanting to look fancy, I'll let it, I'll bake my face and I'll let it sit for a little bit. And it does actually tend to hold up better. I felt like if I do that, but you know, no one's got time for that when you're doing makeup in the car. So again, I'm gonna go pretty much and put this all over my face, but I really focus it on here, on my nose, right in these areas, underneath that contour. That also helps give you a little bit more of a sharper contour look. And then, let's see, put a little more on here. So I continue to blend it and blend it down on my neck a little bit. I'm going to show y'all my favorite setting spray right now. So this is the Professional Super Setter. So shake it, do one long spray. And then I shake it again because I've noticed if I don't, it'll start spraying more droplets and it'll literally leave spots on your face. And sometimes it still does. So I'm going to spray that all over. Let that dry. And now I'm going to take out my eye bag. So in here we have my brow pencil, which right now I'm using Maybelline's Brow Ultra Slim. And the shade is Soft Brown 255. So I've noticed I do have medium, I would say medium brown hair. Um, and I used to use medium brown eyebrow pencils, but they always tended to look too dark no matter what I would do. So I've noticed with using a lighter one, you can use more and kind of layer it and it still looks plenty dark enough, but it doesn't make it look basically black. So I go in and since I do have my eyebrows microbladed, I kind of have a really good shape to follow. So I just go and pretty much do little strokes and follow that shape. And again, y'all, I'm doing all of this in a rear view mirror. I'm going to kind of try to do some hair strokes right there in the front. Then I'm going to repeat on the opposite side. Eyebrows are twin. Or <laughs> Eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins, remember. Alright, so then for my last step, I use L'Oreal's Voluminous Last Paradise Primer. And I actually saw this on TikTok and it works amazing and it's cheap. So I'm just going to put that on, start at my base of my eyelashes and slowly go up and coat that evenly. This step makes a huge difference because I noticed that it gives your eyelashes that thicker appearance without caking on mascara. All right, and now for my favorite mascara ever. I've tried so many. I've tried cheap ones, I've tried expensive ones. This one is more expensive one. It is Big Ego by Tarte. In a hot pink tube, you cannot miss it. And this is just black. Yeah, it's black. Now we're gonna go in the mascara. To me, the key with mascara is to go slow and it be intentional with it. Don't just like slap it on there. Start right as close to your lash line as you can possibly get. And I'm speeding this up a little bit because like I said, I go very slow. And I repeat on my other side do the top on both sides, do the bottom, and then after it dries for a second, I'll go back and put another coat on. This one is Revlon's Cream Lipstick, and it is 130 Rose Velvet. You can see that. And 
I'm much more of a um, lip gloss girl. So now I'm going to take a napkin and blot this. Make it very dry. And then I'm going to go in with either chapstick or my favorite lip gloss. Um, currently, let's see if I have my favorite gloss in here. So it is Bare Minerals and it lasts forever. You can see that. And the color is called Rebel. Absolutely favorite lip gloss ever. So I just put one coat of that on the bottom and then rub my lips together. Put that away. And we are done. So then I will take the setting spray one more time. Once that mascara dries, because that is not a good thing to combine, because I've tried it before. Um, and slightly, again, very long sprays. Don't go too quick with this. Okay. I'll let that dry. I told y'all, I jinxed myself. All right, let's finish the look. this back on I do like to if my hair is cooperating that day I like to wear it where you can see about an inch of your hair up here and we're done I'll show you all a little bit closer so this is the look I'm gonna change the color on this light for y'all so you can see it in a cooler color It matches my skin almost perfect. Let me know if y'all have any questions in the comments.